Well, hey buddy, I know 2020 hasn't exactly been everybody's year. I know we all prompt ourselves up, we said 2019 wasn't shit, but obviously 2020 came at us with a couple of right hooks. I'm locked inside, I don't know about you, I haven't had contact with the outside world in about two weeks. But, I have a little conspiracy theory that I need all of you guys to listen into. This COVID-19 shit? I know everyone's theorizing that we are uh, quarantining because the Senate and Congress are trying to push bills that we don't want, and they're trying to sneak it in while we're all freaking out about toilet paper. But let me tell you, those conspiracy theories are wrong. What's really happening is Google is using all this quarantine stuff and constantly advertising to you so that you don't remember that Flash games are disappearing at the end of this year. So I need all of you to fight the good fight, to learn to download Flash games onto your computer so that we can categorize them and keep them forever. That way we can play Trials, we can play Balloon Tower Defense, and we can play Thing Thing Arena offline when Google has tried to stop us. But really, this is just so you can remember your favorite game and to distract us from the horrible things that are happening outside. Hello everyone and welcome to the tutorial part of the video. So today we're going to be downloading and playing Flash games offline. So what we're first going to do is we're going to need the SWF file player. You need some sort of program that can run SWF files. And this is the easiest one that's free and non-harmful to your computer. So we're going to go to the SWF file player website. It's literally just called swffileplayer.com. I'll have a link in the description for you guys to use. But we're just going to hit download now. It'll bring you to softc.com and we'll have a download file down here and once you install that it'll look like this file right here now that we have that downloaded and on our computers we can go to a website that we both trust and like so armor games addicting games uh, not doppler but i'm going to pick crazy monkey games because this is where i went to since i was in elementary school next let's look for a game we're interested in let's look at rays so, your screen might not look like this, but since I've been messing around and I've been practicing, uh, my screen already has the Flash game up and loaded, and I have my site muted. So what you're going to do to fix that, if uh, it's not allowing you to look at Flash games, is just click the lock screen right here, and then set, instead of your Flash to blocked or ask, set it to allow. And then we'll exit out here, and it'll ask us if we want to reload the page, and we're going to click yes. So now it's very important that you do this. Whatever game you have loaded up, make sure you click play and have the game physically load up itself. So we're going to wait a little bit till we get to this menu screen here. I've had problems where I have downloaded a game, even though I've clicked play, um, it still won't work until you physically know that the game's working. So we'll click campaign. Yeah, we know the game's working here. So no problems there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to right click and inspect. So that'll bring up all this stuff over here, and don't worry, it looks really complicated, but it's honestly not. We're going to start by clicking Control F, and that'll bring up this little search bar right here. We're then going to click .swf, so this is our Shockwave file. Um, of course, this process that we're using right now only works for Google Chrome. Um, I personally haven't done this with Mozilla or Safari or um, Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer or anything like that, um, but I would recommend you use Google Chrome to begin with either way. Um, so we are going to have one of two uh, possible solutions pop up. Um, and what we're looking for right now is we are looking for a file that will allow us to not only have our width of 700 and our height of 600, it's going to change depending on what game you're playing on, but what we're, what we're really looking for here, here is a function that says full screen um, available or true. So let's take a look here. Um, yeah, so this one says allow full screen and the value set to true. So we're going to click this and then we're going to right click. Actually, no. We're going to click the physical link here, and then we're going to right-click, and we will throw that up in this taskbar. Yeah, sometimes, okay, yeah, so it can be really finicky. 
Um, sometimes it'll let you just throw it up in the taskbar and you'll get the download instantly. Um, other times you're just gonna have to sort of mess around and click here a little bit and try to get everything highlighted. Um, but what we're looking for here is, is we're looking to open this file in a new tab. So if sometimes you can just click the link and throw it up there and it'll automatically do the download. And sometimes you just have to mess around and keep right clicking and keep messing with it until you can get an open a new tab. So this is the thing that we were looking for. So let's click this. And of course it didn't open a new tab. Instead, we get this file pop up down here and it's asking you, um, are you sure you wanna download this file? Um, but since we know what file we're downloading, since we know it's the SWF file and we know that all it's doing is, as you can see when I highlight this, it's highlighting the screen right there. We know we're literally just downloading this. So let's say keep, because we wanna do that. Again, none of the stuff that I'm showing you is gonna be harmful to your computer unless you're going on websites that you don't trust. So I recommend you just go to the ones of course you trust. Um, so we have our file here. Let's click our options and let's open it. Or no, let's show in folder. So we have this in our download file. Let's throw this onto our desktop screen here. And I have a personal little file just known as Flash Games and we'll throw Rays into Flash Games. Now we're going to go to our SWF file player and we're going to open our SWF file that we have. So mine, as you can see, I've already searched this PC into desktop into Flash Games and here's Rays right here. Let's open Rays and this is setting up all of our dimensions and all of our borders. And let's click play. And we now have a functioning copy and we can play raise. So just to prove to you that this is not because we're online, I'm going to go to my internet right here and let's disconnect. And let's try it again. And as you can see, we're all good. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys found it helpful. And if you have any questions, I'll be happily um, available in the comments to help you out. Um, of course, we only have till or near the end of 2020. So make sure you download as many games as you want and as many games as you can in that time span. Because of course, um, it's not gonna be here for too much longer. Uh, I will warn you though, some games and some websites can be a bit tricky. I found half, well not half, I found quite a few armor games though um, are connected to the site. So you can download certain games like, um, I have one in here. I was really confused by it for a little bit because I didn't understand why it wasn't working. But like you see Warfare 1944 right here. I tried to download this game off of crazymonkey.com but it did not work and I it, and it kept saying that it's not available because you're not on armorgames.com. So if that's the case, just go to Armor Games and try it there. Um, you will find that some of these Flash games aren't gonna be salvageable. Uh, they just don't cooperate with the SWF Flash player uh, really well. Um, but that's the risk we're gonna have to take and we're gonna have to download as many of these things as we can. All right guys, uh, I'll see you in that outro.